we need to be careful when using money to measure time. Because remember that earned value is the percent of work complete. So even if this project gets done six months late or a year late, whenever it is completed, the earned value is going to essentially equal the planned value. Okay, because we're going to take the planned value, we're going to times that by 100%, and we're going to come up with, in this case, $4,134. So we could very well have a situation where our project gets done not in week six, but in week seven, and we will have a scheduling variance at that time of zero. So the thing you need to remember is that looking at scheduling variance, scheduling performance index, and some of these other things we're going to talk about where we're measuring our schedule or we're using money to measure time, that's all well and good while the project is underway or while that specific activity is underway, but it gets a little bit dicey once more and more project activities are completed. So just be careful when using money to measure time. Now just like uh, our calculations on cost, we will see in subsequent lessons that there are some indices that we can use to help us determine whether we are going to be a week late or a month late or maybe even a month early.